So here's what went down in the month of August. August was quite a month on the mob calendar after some hectic months previous to this. However, we still have some notable dates through the month of August to bring you. So here they go. Starting off with Dominic Nabolitano. A name you're now thinking, hmm, I've heard that before, but where? Well, he's better known as Sonny Black. That ring a bell? Sonny Black was of course the banano capo who brought undercover FBI agent Joe Piston into the crime family. Sonny's life was portrayed by Michael Madsen in the film Donnie Brasco. Forget about it. Sonny breached the family's security by letting an undercover agent in, and the price for this was death. Sonny knew what was coming, and on August 17, 1981, he was led down into the basement of Ron Filicomo's Brooklyn house. He was then fired at using two 38 caliber pistols. The first shot misfired, to which Sonny yelled out his last words, Hit me one more time and make it good. Pretty gangster. Anthony Corallo comes in second this month, a name that was made famous to the public in the Mafia Commission case of the 1980s. He was also second boss of the Lucchese crime family after passing of Tommy Lucchese in 1967. However, due to an impending prison sentence, the crime role was temporarily passed to Carmine Tremonti, who was acting boss until 1970 release of Corallo. It was during 1986 and 1987 that Tony Ducks, his Mafia nickname, was convicted and sentenced to 100 years in prison after being found guilty of racketeering. He died on August 23, 2000 in natural causes at the grand age of 87, locked up in federal prison. Finally, a name you may not completely be familiar with is John Rosselli or Handsome Johnny. He was an influential part of the Chicago outfit back in the days when they were setting up and controlling the Las Vegas Strip. In his years as part of the Mafia, he was said to be involved with the plot to kill Fidel Castro and also the JFK assassination, both of which in the 1960s. In the mid-70s, Sam Giancana was assassinated before he was about to testify against the plot on JFK. This prompted Roselli to go on the run after finishing his first round of testimony as he was currently set up for questioning of Fidel and the JFK cases. A 71-year-old Roselli went missing in late July of 1976 and his body stumbled across on August 9, 1976, riding away at the bottom of a 55-gallon steel drum which was floating in a bay near Miami. Nice story for what went down, right? <laughs> Keep it locked on the National Crime Syndicate. Stay tuned for more original web series, documentaries, and what went down right here on the National Crime Syndicate. You're now rocking with the best NCS Costa Nostra. Welcome to the Sting on Vaz. The search is over. Every series helps bring you a step closer to the life of the mob without dangerous exposure of what went down. Plus mobster of the month. Original content if you're searching on a hunt for the who's who or the best dressed guy. The type of guns they use, the fuse and mob wives. We supply everything as soon as you log on to the National Crime Syndicate.com. From John Gotti to Dawn back to Mustache P, Big Joe, Al Capone, and Maya Lansky. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. Cause the code of silence. Here, no longer reply, so make sure you subscribe and stay tuned in. Cause over here, we like to keep this thing moving.